Hi, I'm Diana Andrews, food editor and test kitchen manager of Fine Cooking Magazine. We're still at home. That said, we're going to try to make the best of it and we're going to, again, take all the things we have in our pantry or in our refrigerator that are kind of on the verge of going south and we're going to use them and remake them into delicious new things to eat. First, I want to say that I hope you're all healthy and I hope you're all staying safe and I hope you're washing your hands a lot and I hope you're cooking. Anyway, this recipe is a recipe I've made probably about a million times in my life. Um, it's a recipe that I created with my daughter many years ago. It's actually in her home writing, <laughs> believe it or not. And it's a simple banana bread. I'm gonna add some things that I had remaining after testing for today. And I'm gonna go through the ingredients and we'll tell you how to do this. And if you want the recipe, you can DM me because I, we did not publish this yet on Fine Cooking Magazine, but I'm happy to share with you. Um, so anyway, we're gonna go through our ingredients. So we have about a cup of sugar, cup and a half of flour, which is about six and three quarter ounces. We like to weigh flour. Um, half a cup of sour cream, a half a cup of neutral oil, that is an oil that you really can't smell or taste, something like, I'm using sunflower oil because that's kind of what I had from testing earlier this week. Um, two very ripe bananas and a teaspoon of baking soda and salt, both mixed together in here, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a couple of eggs, and we're good to go. Again, really simple. I'm also putting in some chocolate from testing I did earlier in the week. Again, we're using what we have. So um, we want to just keep in mind that we don't want to create food waste when we don't need to. So um, we want to try to think of creative ways to use uh, the things that are kind of on the verge of, of going bad to recreate really new, interesting, and fun recipes. So I'm going to mix all the dry ingredients together. Just whisk them lightly, just so they're combined. And then in a separate bowl, I'm gonna add the wet ingredients, my eggs. I'm gonna give them a little mix. My oil. Vanilla, sour cream, make sure to get all of that in. Makes it a little tangy. Again, whisk it all together. I know it looks a little curdly, but once you get it going, everything works out. I have my ripe bananas. I'm going to mash them. They're really ripe and sweet. Um, and that's part of what makes the banana bread so delicious. That's good. I'm going to add the bananas to the wet ingredients. Just kind of mush them around. You notice I'm using pie plates. I love pie plates. They're so multifunctional. It's one of my little secrets. Every time I go to a tag sale or I'm passing a tag sale and I see pie plates, I go right to them. That's my go-to because they are so, so many uses. Okay, now I'm going to put my wet ingredients into my dry. And just kind of mix it together. Just want to get this going a little bit before I add my chocolate. about a half a cup of chocolate. And right now, we have all the ingredients in the bowl. This is my favorite, favorite 
banana bread, not only because it brings back memories of when my daughter was little, um, it's something we always did together, it's something we did with family, and that's kind of what we're doing now, we're kind of back to that. So trying to look on the brighter side of this pandemic, um, if, um, if I can just be so bold as to say that we should always try to look for a brighter side, and maybe the lesson is um, we're coming back to home and cooking again, being together. Anyway, I'm gonna put this in a 10 by five pan. I'm gonna show you another little tip. I like um, spraying the pan with a spray, a baking spray. And I like doing it over my dishwasher because you know how the spray gets over everything, but over the dishwasher, I know it's gonna get washed away doesn't it? It smells really good too. So I'm going to just add this to the pan. We're going to bake this at 350 for probably 50 minutes or so until a toothpick comes out relatively clean. I'm really sorry, I couldn't wait. <laughs> so the banana bread is uh, done. It passed the toothpick test. It cooled down. I took it out of the pan and um, apparently started eating it without you and I'm sorry about that. Um, I did wanna mention the size of the pan is eight and a half by four and a half loaf. Um, I might have mentioned a different size before but I now start to mark the bottom of my pans uh, with Sharpies so that I always remember the size. Sometimes it's not embossed on the pan and sometimes it's uh, easier to just keep track if you mark it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little lesson in banana bread. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. So what do you do with the rest of your old bananas? This is easy. I cut them up. And I put them in my famous pie plate. I bet you know what I'm going to do with them, right? Oops. And I'm going to freeze them like this. And I'm not going to cover them or anything because they're really just going to go in the freezer for a short period of time. And when they get hard and they're solid, I'm going to remove them and then I'm going to put them in a zip top bag and um, You'll have them ready for smoothies whenever, whenever you like. And they're so delicious and sweet at this point. Also, I wanted to give you another little tip. These are my new fresh bananas. Um, when you go to the supermarket, I'm sure you've noticed that sometimes um, the top of the bananas is coated in a waxy kind of coating. Don't take that off because that is um, believed to keep the bananas from ripening too quickly. So that's just another little banana tip from me. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these in the freezer and try to keep them a little separate. Now, if you're gonna do this overnight, you could put the light covering of plastic on and then just pop them off the pie pan. Again, Ziploc bag and you're good to go for ice cold smoothies all summer long. <laughs>